Ha! I bet you thought I was going to come down the path. Fooled yous. Um, morning folks, it's another lovely day today. Um, I'm so excited, I've bought myself a new toy to go on the hose. Phew. Now what? Now what? In fact, give us a second. The name's Dave. Blue Star Dave. Licensed to make vids. But first of all, I'm going to get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Hello, welcome to the allotment. Still cracking on at the allotment. <laughs> Get the kettle on. It's a lovely day. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Well, it's too hot for a cuppa. So I'll get myself some iron brew. Because it's thirst quenching on a day like this. Ah, lovely. Um, aye, it's been sweltering hot. Since the last video, um, it has rained three or four times, like good downpours, so it, it hasn't been too bad. Um, I know there is hose pipe bans in certain places in the country and that. Um, it'll pop all over my tash. <laughs> um, so, it's like I say, still blustering. Bluster, what, what am I saying? It's still bloody warm, that's what I'm saying. Uh, today I will be doing a lot of tidying up, getting rid of some weeds in amongst uh, the crops that are left and I also will be doing a potato reveal because the Estima potatoes are starting to come to an end now and uh, I'm curious to know what's going on under the ground. So, after I've had a few more drinks of this, I'll crack on with that. So I'll see you on a bit, see you on a bit, see yous in a bit. Right. It's a little bit windy today, so I'll just uh, talk to you behind the camera before I start digging the potatoes out. Um, as you can see, well, these are the ones here. These are the esteemer. I dug a little plant out the other day. It was not too bad. Um, so the ones there at the back, if you can see, are starting to die off. I'll crack on with them. Uh, there's a couple of more. It looks like the Charlotte or whatever they are, I think the Kestrel, they might be ready to come up there. So, I'm going to crack on. First of all though, I'm just curious here. The, these are the Oyster. Now, they're looking fine. The, 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 they're just starting to die off there. I'm just going to dig one of them up, because I'm really curious to know what's under the ground with them. Uh, I got them off Ray, and Ray grew them last year. And he was getting like a massive yield. He filled like two and a half sack potato sacks uh, in just one row. So before I get on with digging them out, I'm just going to do a quick potato reveal of the oyster. Let's let's see what this is all about. Well, it doesn't seem to be very many of them. Uh, but, you know, they're all right. What there is there. So I'm going to leave the rest in, obviously. I'll give them a good water in later on with my new toy. Um, so I'm going to get on and get the rest of these a steamer up. I'll show you what, uh, what I've got when I've dug them up. Later as...
but it's far too hot as usual um, I've got all my taties out I'm sitting I've got my umbrella up there nice and shaded ah much better um, so I just thought while I was sitting here I would show you my potatoes um, there's a, lot, a bit more than what I expected really these ones are the esteemer if you can see them there some quite big not bad size and there's about uh, two kilo there I would say so I'm quite happy with them and I took the shortlet up as well because they were ready I've got yeah a few meals there not bad not bad at all considering I thought I'd lost them all together and these are the um, kestrel not bad at all of course um, I've uh, forked quite a few <laughs> I've forked them up <laughs> uh, but um, let's see that I split one in half I don't know where it is, aha here if you can see there the, the flesh on the, the kestrel here is just white as a white as a ghost white as a sheet that you uh, boil the wash in bleach right well, as I'm still here there's me potatoes get in not as many as what I was expecting but you can't expect much in this weather everything's been a bit weird ah. too hot for a cuppa yeah right I have here a bucket because it is around about that time if you want to to sow some uh, potatoes for Christmas so that's what I'm about to do here here these are some kestrel which as you can see I've got some nice chits on look at me chits <laughs> I better not do that I'm sorry I I'm messing about here I'm trying to be serious yeah so what I've done I've filled this with um, Humax compost and also some of the fast grow seaweed and chicken pellet manure they uh, mix stuff from the fast grow company so that's a bucket full of that total goodness so I just make a big deep hole for them I'll put two in here because they're just small we'll see what how it goes from there Grow potato, this is your chance. Grow potato, this is your chance. there that's it hopefully I'll get some Christmas potatoes now I have tried for years to get Christmas potatoes it's no good putting them outside you know they'll not work I've tried them also in the greenhouse they don't work so I'm going to put them in the bucket leave them out here when they start growing and it starts getting a bit colder I'll put them into the greenhouse now it's just a sort of experiment that's why I'm only doing one bucket full but we'll see how it goes now I'm going to go back in there sweat like a pig and do some more tidying up see you in a bit
Right, just before I show you around, as you can see, one of my onions is gone. Now if you follow us on my Facebook page, Dave's Allotment, you would have seen the picture. Um, it was quite big. If I can figure it out, I'll stick a picture on now. If not, check out my Dave's Allotment Facebook page. It'll be on there. Um, but these two are still left. I think this one is going to be the biggest one out of the lot of them. Now remember, all I've been feeding these on really is nettle tea. Like nettle juice feed. And now you're probably wondering what this sticks for. Well, it's not just for pointing or fishing or whipping it's an actually a, a quite ingenious idea I've had since I haven't got a, a long enough ruler I've made a stick now this is 21 inches long up to there I don't think they're gonna be any bigger than that but for now let's let's measure the measure the onions Uh, this one's uh, still growing okay. The other one split. That's what happened to that. So, let's get it round the, the fattest point there. I kind of get through that stick. How uh, there. Right. That's it there. So, I just get me magical stick out. And that is 19 inches. This one. I think this one might be a little bit bigger than that. So we'll find out now, folks. Like I say, it's still growing growing there, quite good there right good idea this stick and that one is also 19 inches so I'll give that a feed of nettle juice um, before I go and I'll get the kettle on before I show you round what's been happening. Okay, see you in a bit folks. Right, I've just about done for the day. I'll show you what's grown and what's not grown. The leeks are doing okay still, but they are starting to get rust. Now I'm not bothered because I'm not gonna show them. I just wanna see how big I can actually get a, a leak. Um, I need to do a little bit of weeding around it actually, but it's quite thick there. Not bad. And there, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, but if you know about leaks, are they doing okay or what? I know they've got rust, but do you think they'll still grow? Answers on a postcard. This uh, giant cabbage here, this is doing okay. I've supported it. I will be making a, a better support, but for the minute, that seems to be doing all right in there. I cannot see through the net, so uh, it seems to be doing champion. So that's all right. Uh, I'll show you up here. I took some, remember the beetroot, but I've been pulling it. I've, I'll show you it later, it's okay there. I am starting to get some broad beans on, but the, the, the weird, they seem all soft. They're all soft. I don't know what's the matter with them. Anyway, Ooh. Since I put this net on the top of here, all my black currants there starting to thicken up. I can't be really bothered to open the, the door, but you get the idea. It's keeping the birds off anyway, which is good. Uh, these leeks that I planted the other week. I do it okay. Grown canny. These um, 
spring onion. They seem to be okay to me, like I'll keep them in, even though it's summer. Now these carrots look as though they've got a bit of carrot root fly problem because they're all dying off here. But this row seems to be okay. Someone was telling us that the carrot root fly only lives for like a week and it's well past the week now so these ones have had it. They might survive and they might be our eating now. My Swedes, or as I used to call them, turnips. I've been getting loads off there. There they are. Not bad. Tastes lovely as well, man. Really, like, sweet, you know? Lovely. Me Blue Lake Climbing Beans. I've just started getting flowers on. They always seem to come late. I'll show you these apples while I'm here. Look at the Claygate Pemain apples are doing all right this year. I'll show you the other apples as well where I'm here. Why not? These are the Ergamont Russet. They're doing all right. Hopefully they'll get a bit bigger than that. I can see two pears on there, on the pear tree. So hopefully I'll get a pear as well. Um. Hi, there's loads of apples on there. Claygate Pemain. One of the oldest apple varieties in England. So there you go. Um, as you can see, that I've pulled up the, all of the, the Charlotte. These are a few of the later ones that I put in, remember? When I didn't think anything was coming from there. So I stuck some loose ones. I don't know what variety they are, but they're in. And they're growing all right. And these rest of the main crop ones are still romping away. Been getting a good watering. So everything's looking canny. I haven't missed anything out there. So I'll show you me cabbages and that. If you can see through the net. The road just starting to get a heart there. Plenty of kale. The kaolettes, that looks like a kaolette there as well. So everything's doing all right. These loose parsnips, they're doing all right as well. See if I can get you a good look in there. It's just a forest of brassicas. I'm going to have to get the net off one day because I need to get in there, obviously. Um, my sweet corn. That's doing all right, look at I've been pollinating it by hand just to give it a better start. Every, every single one of them hairs needs to be touched by the pollen. That's how the corn makes a corn. Every single one of them hairs is at the end of it is a corn. If the pollen doesn't touch the corn, like leak there, them bits then you won't get any corn so it's just good to do things like this you know helping hands and all that uh, right I'm just going to stop it for a second folks just for editing purposes right there I'm back um, my butternut squash seems to have picked up it's definitely grown like I think there could be some butternut squashes coming on there and the um, Pacific Giant things, they've picked up as well. In fact, that's got bigger since the last time I looked. So it looks like I've got one that's set, which is good news. In fact, this one looks like it's got one on that's set as well. So I'll have to get it up off the ground and all that kind of thing soon. The artichoke, now that's started getting top heavy, so I've snapped a few bits of it off. But there's still plenty on. For the bees, for the bees, me chrysanthemums, they're doing okay there still. Gonna have quite a few nice flowers on them this year. Nice and green, nice and tall. Now I haven't pricked any of these out, so 
in fact I did prick one of them out so the rest of them will just be for like the vase not for show um, I've shown you the onions and his rose here I gave it a pruning last week and all of these are new flowers now look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful beautiful white roses for a beautiful little girl anyway my sunflower it's not very big like but it's a sunflower this bamboo's doing all right as well this is the vampire bamboo if you remember it turns red in the winter all of this so that'll look nice I give me bush here a little bit pruning and all it's nice to have a nice neat bush me dahlias are romping away still no sign of flowers on just yet oh there they are so they're starting to get flowers on there which is good these convolvulus are starting to come to an end now but I'm going to leave them on because as you can see they're getting seed heads on there so I'm going to save the seeds and grow some more of these next year because they're very nice very nice indeed this cosmos I pulled the heads off there as well and there's loads of other ones now appearing the never ending cosmos beautiful here's my taties nice and clean and washed up so we can see them properly now uh, these are the esteema and there are it them right clean no scab no sign of worm damage which is a good thing these are the charlotte not bad you don't want to get these too big because they're, they're just like nice boilers you know mmm lovely and there the kestrel that one's got a bit scab on because I think it's a bit too big but the rest of them are okay no scab no worm damage a few bits of fork damage like but can it help that there's a couple there but so what I mean it's still a mash up so I'm sort of quite pleased uh, considering the weather and all of that uh, not bad it's, it's pointless weighing them uh, I'll take it into the greenhouse but before I do that I'll show you me beetroot look at beetroot there's some cylindrica ones there in amongst them they're not very big but you know yet again you don't want to get the beetroot too big either because they start turning woody like off a uh, toy story there's me some tomatoes I'm getting loads of these off man just to put every day get that that amount loads and I tell you what man lovely lovely Ah. all right still getting loads forming on these the the sweet air uh, aperitif absolutely covered in their little tiny strobe uh, tomatoes like that's just worn trust there look at all them so I could quite well believe that you would get up to 500 tomatoes off them if they were grew like not just in a pot um these are the sweet million and like i say every day i'm just they're just ripening lovely <laughs> here's the shirley's these are nice getting a nice size now just starting to ripen but you always get a good crop off shirley like never fails they're coming up all the way there in fact that's oh, need to prop that up a bit because it's going to snap talking about oh no I'm going to have to do that oh no don't please don't fall over 
Right, stay like that for now. I'm only going to be two minutes. Um, this watermelon. Oh, no, don't. Right, I'm going to have to stop here. I'll be back soon. Right, that's that saved. Phew. Um, this watermelon. I don't know. It's growing. See what happens. I don't think I'm going to get any watermelons off it, like, but you know. The grapes are still doing canny. Bunches all our. These cabbages are up now, so that'll do me for the winter. They'll be going out in a couple of weeks, they'll get a bit bigger, and then they'll be going out. Garnut like, I garnut. Um, talking about snapping things, look what happened, man. I, this cucumber snapped from there, so I've lost like a plant. Hopefully, that one of this little offshoot here is going to grow up. In there, get some cucumbers on. But look, I'm starting to get cucumbers. Very good. Very good indeed. That one looks hairy on. Not bad. But like I said, it snapped there. But there is a runner coming up of there. Uh, hopefully, it'll climb up there nice. And I'll sort it out when it comes to it. What's the temperature? The highest temperature has been 23.9 and that is 111 degrees Fahrenheit which is 52 no the lowest has been 52 which is 11 degrees Celsius and the temperature right now is 29.5 and 85.1 Sorted Right, these pepper plants here are doing all right I cannot see any signs of any actual flowers on yet like but they're growing and that's all I'm knowing Get some flowers on please These ones over here, the golden wonder ones these have got a couple of flowers on So I may get some whopper Whopper peppers Just like that, look at that whopper cabbage It's absolutely huge It's starting to get a right good head on there like now Give it a couple of more weeks and that'll be up Now get that other watermelon sunk in its place Right, there's nothing else I can really show you uh, all these taties outside here in the pots They're doing great No sign of them dying off yet It'll not be long It's got some weight to it there, yeah, I tell you what, it's got some weight to it that but In fact that's bulging out there Bulging with the potatoes hopefully um, Great <laughs> Right Tell you what I'll do I'm going to get the kettle on I'm going to have a quick cuppa before I go because I'm sweating now as you can see Woo. Uh, so I'm going to sit you down there with a cuppa and sign off then right? see you in a bit hey y'all I'm Dave's friend I'm going to do some bongo playing because I noticed on the last video that he did there wasn't very good bongos that's why the rain didn't come I know it worked for some people, but it didn't work for all y'all. So I'm, I'm an expert bongo player. I'm going to play some bongos. Ah. Hey, that's some mighty fine coffee there, Dave. Anyway, Dave's over in the shed there getting ready for some uh, rain dance moves. So I'm going to sit here and give you some rain dance bongo action okay before i go dave told me to say thanks for watching commenting liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing it's well appreciated and he said he'll see you on the next one okay catch us in a bit
Okay, folks, see you next time on all that kind of thing. I'm going to drink my coffee and then whatever, man. See you next time, folks. Ah.